Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members of all, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it guys. And I wanted to talk about a subject that a lot of people um, normally ask about and it's kind of a more broader kind of situation but about a specific aircraft that we can use and as, as an example, right? Um, should aircraft, for example like the F-20 Tiger Shark, in the future of course when Fox 3s are added, um, you know what I mean about Fox 3s, you know, 90s Fox 3s, AMO 20s, R77s, etc. That are be were being tested in the dev. Uh, should the F-20 get it? Why is that an important question? Well, there's two points of that. Well, the first thing about uh, the F-20 getting that missile is that... I mean, did it actually carry it? Not really, you know, they tested with the AIM-7 apparently and AIM-9s, uh, but they never fully tested with the AIM-120, you know, the project was cancelled before the um, actual AIM-120 got into service and of course the F-20 being an aircraft that didn't get into service as well, it means that, of course, um, it didn't carry the AIM-120, but there were some mock-ups that... Uh, the F-20 was actually using uh, AIM-120s, you know, so they were showing the ability that this aircraft would be able to carry the F-20, uh, the, the AIM-120 if it actually um, would enter in service. So it's kind of like the Yak-141 and the F-16AJ kind of situation. Uh, they didn't properly test this aircraft with weaponry and they didn't enter in service or anything like that, but... The plans were there, and the prototypes were there, maybe, I mean, the AJ is a little bit, like, it's not really a prototype, but still, the plans were there, and if it was going to enter in service, it would have those weapons, right? So, I think the same line of thinking applies here. The F-20 didn't take him on 20s but apparently, according to some sources, it did even, didn't even... Uh, uh, it wasn't even tested with A9Ls. I, I tried to find anything that people were actually talking about how uh, it was like it had A9Ls uh, in like full testing, and apparently they only tested with the Js and Ps, you know. Um, so it would be kind of the same situation with the even the A9 uh, A9s of the F20 already, right? So it's in the realms of possibility that if we could. It will, when Gaijin wants, right? So, you know, in theory, the MiG-29 for Germany never carried the R-27ERs, right? And I don't think there were enough time to the R-73 to be able to be carried as well, but they do that in-game, you know? Why? Because, in theory, they could, and they would take it if the Cold War didn't like and so for balancing purposes um they got it and it's the same principle as i said with the yak with the f-16 aj it's like if the world continue on that certain path it would mean that those aircraft would exist but it, they didn't but since it could and it's very close to being uh, the real thing and the countries need or they want to add it or anything like any reason that you can imagine for them to add that, it means that they add it to the game, right? So at the end of the day, the F-20, yes, for sure, can take the F the Demon 20 if Gaijin wants. Um, as I said, I mean, even if it didn't take properly in the in real life, there are mock-ups and stuff like that that confirms that they were planning to add those capabilities um, to the aircraft. So for sure, I think. Uh, it's a possibility. It's in the realms of possibility that if it's needed or if they want to, they will add um, the t 120 for the F20. But then we have the second thing about it: um, should we have a premium already receiving a missile like that uh, once these missiles are added? So, for example, um, I think there is a big problem in BR compression, even after the BR decompressions that they did. Uh, there will still be a very big BR compression when these missiles are added. Why? Because these missiles will be probably on 
the top of the top tier, right? So 12.7 BR. But the thing is that there are very advanced missiles and there are many, many aircraft uh, in 12.0, even some lower BRs, depending on the situation, that can actually carry these um, missiles. I think the greatest example of them all is, of course, the J-8F, which is an 11.7 aircraft, but it will be able to carry this type of missile, right? Uh, there's the F-16s, the EDFs, and the MLUs, which are all 12.0s that can carry those missiles as well, right? So it's not only for the top dogs. Uh, these aircraft can receive it, and I doubt that they will just, because of the BR compression, make these aircraft remain with the Sparrow uh, while they have to face the stronger aircraft with these missiles. So, uh, for example, an F-16, um, maybe they consider the MLU, for example, for China. Maybe they will consider that the MLU is too low of a BR to actually have that missile. And they will do the same thing that they did with the F4E, for example, not implementing new and more modern weapons to it uh, just because it would increase its VR, right? So then you have a 12.0 aircraft that will most likely almost every single match face a top tier match that it's filled with more advanced aircraft using these missiles against it. So how do you balance that? Well, you add the Amon 20s, right, uh, to it, but then these aircraft will stomp on the 11.0s that it sometimes faces. Then the BR will have to be changed for that aircraft. So expect a whole bunch of BR changes when these mis missiles get added, right? Because it will be a cluster F of just aircraft being like off place um, because of these missiles. These missiles will, pre I mean, even though they, they're not like the perfect weapon system, they're still very, very advanced and they will be uh, power creep to lower rank aircraft, right? So it, it really, really is something very interesting. And, and the F-20 kind of will suffer from it because, uh, okay, if we consider that the F-20 should get um, the Amon 20 because, I don't know, it's a 12.0 aircraft and this BR already kind of shows that maybe they will add it for that like aircraft, um, it will be facing a lot of top tiers, and then it's a premium, right? It needs to perform a little bit for so that people can actually do well on it and want to buy it, and then the aircraft will not have the the missile, and then it will suffer because it's just an F5 with a little bit more performance facing a lot of 12.0s. I mean, it's kind of weird, right? So if they actually add it then it will be a power creep to the 11.0, so it might have actually receive a BR increase. So, at the end of the day, as I said, I mean, it go it's going to be a cluster F of just a lot of stuff going on, a lot of BR changes, a lot of aircraft being bumped to higher ranks, maybe new aircraft being added in, in the gaps that are created there, so, um, yeah. Uh, and for sure, I think there are, will be some aircraft that we might see not having these missiles. Uh, one clear one for me would be the ADF. Uh, the F-16A ADF for the uh, US could be an aircraft that doesn't receive that. Why? Well, because we already have a C variant afterwards. So uh, they might even consider it's not necessary, which I would say it's complete, you know, complicated, but... You know what I mean? So it, it, it opens up a whole can of worms. Uh, so that's why they are even testing these missiles, right? Because it will bring a whole different craziness uh, to top tier and to BRs in top tier. Uh, so yeah, the F-20, should it get it? Maybe it will need to get it, you know? Because if it doesn't, it might be kind of dead on the arrival when the Fox 3s are added because it will be facing those Fox 3s every single time. And then it will be the first premium aircraft with Fox 3s from the get-go, which is problematic, but I guess it could be a thing. So, I don't know. Just leave it in the comments your opinion on this matter. But you understand how crazy this thing will be in the next patch, right after this one. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and I see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.